Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The trees at the moment are still in full leaf. It is after all only early autumn. But the weather during the next 10 days will feel particularly autumnal. What does that mean? Well, the leaves will be put under strain because it will be often particularly windy, a risk of gales at times in some locations. Also, blustery showers will blow through fairly frequently or even at times longer spells of wet weather. In short, low pressure will dominate the weather during the next 10 days. We start off Thursday with the brief ridge of high pressure, a fine start to the day for many places. But quite quickly during the morning, weather fronts arrive into Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England, and by the afternoon, northern parts of Britain are wet and fairly breezy. Cool temperatures in the north, feeling a little more pleasant in the south, where we'll see some sunshine and temperatures approaching 20 Celsius. But the tables are turned on Friday. It's the south that sees the most prolonged wet weather. A weather front will linger through much of the day here. Further north, some sunshine, but further showers, heavy downpours moving through fairly quickly on an increasingly gusty breeze. It will feel cool everywhere with that northwesterly breeze. But the worst of the wet weather is out of the way later Friday, some sunshine to end the day. However, as we go into Saturday, low pressure still dominating the weather. Still, we've got this northwesterly blustery breeze. We'll see further sunny spells, but also heavy downpours, hail and thunder a possibility. It stays cool. We are on the cool north side of the jet stream at the moment. The jet stream, a fast flowing current of air high in the sky, tends to deepen areas of low pressure and carry them around the globe. And later in the weekend, it will deepen one such low pressure near Greenland. And although there's big uncertainty in terms of the depth and the track that this low pressure will take, at the moment it looks likely to bring a spell of wet weather on Sunday from west to east across the United Kingdom. The heaviest of the rain in the north, patchier, showery outbreaks of rain further south, but it will move through quite quickly. You can see the isobars on the pressure chart here fairly well packed together, and that indicates it's going to be windy. As I mentioned, some uncertainty in terms of the path that this low pressure will take. But with those isobars tightly packed, it looks likely that once the rain clears, on Sunday night and into the start of next week, it will be windy across the UK. And at the moment, current indications are that it's western parts of Britain, Ireland, Wales and the southwest that will see the strongest winds with the risk of gales at times. All of this compounded by the fact that there'll be heavy showers and near any showers, those winds will be especially gusty. Risk of hail and thunder as well. Whatever path that low pressure takes, it looks likely to be moving out to the east by Tuesday. However, the jet stream still to the south of the UK and most computer models are in agreement that we're going to see a similar pattern continuing throughout next week. And that means that it's going to stay autumnal. It's going to stay windy with the risk of gales in places, further blustery showers or longer spells of rain through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. There will be some dry weather at times, some sunshine, a subtle signal in the computer models for something a little drier mid-month, but that's a long way off. A lot of things have to happen both around the UK and elsewhere in the globe for that to play out. So we'll be keeping a track of things here at the Met Office in the next few days. You can always keep up to date with your local forecast on the website and on the app.